Cummins India was trading at about 550 rupees or 25 times its fiscal 2020 earnings in January when we raised apprehensions about growth and valuations. But with the recent stock market crash, the stock prices also have recently corrected to about uh, 280 rupees per share. Now, in our ideas for profit today, I will discuss why we believe the stock presents an opportunity for investors. Firstly, it is currently trading at levels last seen in the year 2009. Secondly, on a price to earnings and price book value basis, it is trading at the lowest level of the trading range seen in over the last 10 years. Now, it is possible that volatility in the stock markets can hammer the stock again, but considering the valuations right now and also more importantly a dividend yield of close to 5%, the margin of safety is quite high right now. Based on its annual book value per share, we also calculated the average price to book value of 5.17 times at which its uh, stock is traded in the last 13 years to arrive at a current intrinsic value of 811 rupees per share, which provides a close to 56% margin of safety. Now, the last two years have been difficult for the company given the slowing capex in the country. Also, these worries have now only increased further in the light of the COVID-2019. Now, however, thanks to the diversification and leadership in these businesses, which is backed by superior technology, the company is operating on a very strong foundation. Cummins India, which manufactures engines, power systems and operates in the distribution segment, enjoys a huge competitive advantage because of the technology from the global parent Cummins. Now, its exposure to markets like construction of roads, oil and gas, railways and high-end engineering application should allow the company to keep the impact minimal in the coming months as well. Cummins also generates close to 70% of its revenue from the domestic markets and impact of the lockdown will be visible in the revenues of February, March, April kind of months. Now, for the fiscal year 2020, we are conservatively estimating a 10% decline in revenue already, but the larger impact could also come in the fiscal year 2021, where we expect a significant decline in activities in the first quarter and moderation in the second quarter, a normal market condition probably in the second half of the fiscal year. Now, on a positive side, there is not much fixed cost and going forward, the company should also really benefit because of the lower commodity prices going forward from here. Now, part of the worries would also get negated because of the savings on accounts of uh, lower tax rates right now. Now, since the company also works with most of the high quality clients and has strict working capital and payment policies, it should not really suffer much on the working capital front. In fiscal year 2019, the company had total debt of merely 300 crores on a net worth of close to 4100 crores. Moreover, it is also sitting on a liquid cash balance of close to 1000 crore rupees. And the company has immense ability and balance sheet strength to really deal with this crisis that has emerged. While its stock has gained marginally in the last few trading sessions, even at the current levels of say 375 rupees per share, it could really be a good bargain for the investors right now.